بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الحبة في الله the هدايا or هدايا is from Allah Azza wa Jal guidance is from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and we already spoke about once before about the two types of hidayah the hidayah hidayah to irshad where for example if you're giving dawah to someone you are and, and you're setting an example for them or you're calling them to islam or calling someone to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that you're giving irshad to them and then there is hidayah to tawfiq there is the guidance regarding having that person actually be guided and that's only from Allah Azza wa Jal so hidayah to irshad we all have the ability to do some bi'idnillah but hidayah to tawfiq <coughs> this has to do with that person actually being guided and accepted and that is only for ar-Rahman al-Hadi the one who gives guidance and gives you the blessing of being guided to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and his surat al-mustaqim and in a beautiful ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayu alladhina amanu alaykum anfusukum la yudurukum man dalla idha ahtaday idha ahtadaytum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem he addresses the believers O oh, you who believe, it's upon you yourselves, meaning correct yourselves, work on yourselves. Alaykum anfusakum, anfusakum. La yadurukum man dalla idha tadaytum. And it doesn't harm you, whoever is misguided, if you are guided. So if you call people to Allah, you call people to the correct madhab and the correct minhaj, the minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the minhaj of Salaf al Salih, if you invite the people to that, if Allah has favored you to be in that position to invite the people and be on a, a path of guidance, and may Allah bless us to be from amongst those people, that even if they go against you or they don't become guided guided which is that he died to tawfiq as we mentioned that's tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that a person is guided so even if they are not guided with have that tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it does not harm you so you don't really lose when you set a good example and when you call people to Islam and you have good manners, and you practice the sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam. you don't lose. You don't lose. You come out ahead, and it doesn't harm you if others, if they don't listen to you, and you're on the haq. That is, if you're on the haq, and you're calling the people to the haq. That doesn't harm you. As the Prophet Wasallam said, لَا تَزَلْ طَائِفَةٌ مِنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِرِينَ لَلْحَقْ the Prophet ﷺ said, There won't cease to be a group from my nation on the truth. And in the Ruwaya we were speaking about, no one will harm them that differ with them or even go against them until the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is filled or until the day of judgment so Allah, that guidance is from Allah and we mentioned two types of guidance hidayah to irshad or hidayah to tawfiq hidayah to irshad meaning that you're you're showing the people the correct path hidayah to tawfiq this is from Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone guiding the hearts and we also mentioned the importance of staying steadfast on the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and striving to be 
from the Taifa to Mansura, the, the safe sect. That doesn't mean we claim piety for ourselves. We hope to be from them. But we're, we just do the best that we can. That's all we can do. We hope to be on that minhaj. We know the minhaj. We know the methodology. We know that the prophets, alayhim salatu, alayhim afdhu salatu wasalam, called the tawheed. We know we need to call the tawheed. We know we need to understand tawheed. We know we need to practice tawheed in all acts of ibadah, whether it be salat, zakat, hajj, jihad, whatever. Every aspect of the religion is governed by Islamic monotheism. It's to aid and assist Tawheed, and it's actualizing Tawheed. So we know that, and that's what we strive to be on, even with our shortcomings, even with our sins. But that's the med, med, the minhaj and the medhab that we want to strive to follow. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.